what I want to explain to TM is that Trump doesn't align with the, with Republicans because they're just not as far right as he is. So that's not the same. That's that's not moderation. That's just extremism. I mean, I don't know if I agree with that because if you look at people, I'm I'm just gonna use another person as an example. If you look at people like you know Ron DeSantis, uh, Ted Cruz, um, a lot of these other Republicans, a lot of them rush to like the culture war social issues they i mean a lot of the republicans i talk to i've talked i've been i've talked to a lot of republicans in many discord servers and a lot of them are they won't stop shutting up about lbgt they won't stop shutting up about all these moral righteous issues when it comes to people like trump he doesn't talk about that at all like he talks about buddy buddy people, buddy you're, you're talking to somebody that has watched how many trump rallies in the last couple of months that's all he fucking talks about and what how he's personally yeah, agreed brought up L the lbgtq community multiple times more than desantis give me an example he was like they're teaching our kids transgender do you want that like fucking multiple times in his he speech brought up drag shows yep well, drag shows are different when it comes to They're showing really kids certain things. Then, They're, like kids, kids can't see dancing. They've never well, like, they, they can don't see have dancing. MTV. But there's a video. There was a video that got shared around where there was a woman who was flashing, uh, who was like singing a bunch of dirty words, and that they were actually giving sex toys out to kids. No, uh, no. I guess it was like, on Fox News. Of course, it was on Fox News. And I guarantee you that, that 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 wasn't happening then, because you know what normal people with kids don't do—they don't bring their kids to the shows like that. And if and if it's if, on if, video. if, if, if right? <laughs> you watch that, it was they showed it on the news. Yes, buddy. So did you yes, know, Fox did you lies. Know that when trans women, or sorry, when drag queens, not trans women, when drag queen take clothes off because they have multiple layers. And so Fox News could have easily, per by using their their censoring, mm -hmm. pretended like she was flashing that kid, and it didn't, and it wasn't there because there's probably more stuff underneath. They not only have, you know, bras and stuff, um, you know, which might be questionable, but they have stuff that that like helps their body shape. So they're not naked under those clothes. Definitely DM, not as naked DM. as we are. <laughs> Can you, is, is it possible for you to acknowledge that Fox News may show you a piece of video and lie to you about what is occurring? I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that that's not possible. I'm going to tell you it's more likely. Because that's what Fox does. Much, if you're trying to protect kids, being superstitious about what's going to corrupt them isn't going to save them. Uh, there, this panic has been going on for decades about hypersexualized culture. If anything, rape is like harder now for rapists to do. Kid, like uh, kids are more likely to call out shitty behavior and to care about consent. We have a better culture around sex and like more informed kids than ever. I, I think that if anything, those people were, like, polarly, like, no, what, what's, what's the word I'm going for, like as wrong as you can be like not just like oh that didn't happen like no the opposite happened i mean i i don't 100 percent agree with you and i'll explain why our culture today has changed a lot for when it comes to what it used to be back then in the earlier days uh, when it came to things like sex it was again scrutinized to have sex before marriage uh and you would basically it was more you find one person you get married, and then that was what was the norm. Nowadays, you look at our culture today, what's nor being normalized is casual sex, porn, and there's even people in Discord servers, I'm not going to say which ones, but I've debated them, that actually think it's okay for kids under the age of 18 to have sex with each other. And that's where our culture is going. I mean, you look at some of the laws in some of these states. There are states that actually have laws now that allow kids to have sex with each other, and people debate this in servers. I think Holy it's shit. Be more dangerous. I, yeah, but here's the problem. Kids I mean, are going to have sex with and Kids, kids is, are going through something called puberty, which literally their brain tells them to have sex with each other. What we don't want is them having sex with adults. That doesn't make it any better. You Kids should not be having sex... Uh, until they're 18 we shouldn't be That's allowed no wait, no wait, wait, no wait, wait, wait a minute you should teach them to practice safe sex because you they're gonna do that. it and who decided that that like this is some law sur surrounding teenagers 
it's never been the case that teenagers don't have sex. The opposite has been true, and trying to force them into a box is only going to create problems. That is predatorial talk right there. It's really no, not. Hey, DM, DM, Absolutely DM, DM, let me ask you a question. Do you know the story of Romeo and Juliet? I do. And that do you know how old they were? Period. They were 13, but that was a very different time period, and I'll explain why it was a different time we period. We haven't like evolved then, that people much didn't since live, then. People, no, people didn't only live to be 30 in, in those time periods. That's why they got married earlier. But they still had puberty the at the same be. age. They still had puberty at the same age. Should, yes, it does. Again, I live in, the, in, you know, in my state of Wisconsin. If anybody, regardless of how old they are, if they are under 18 and they have sex, it's a crime. No matter what age. That's not true. That is in the state of Wisconsin, it is true. Yes, go and look Wisconsin it up right now, Justin. fucking sucks. Your place is like an authoritarian. That can't possibly be true. We have a Democrat governor. Um, in yeah, some cases, and he should change that law. Well, they can't possibly be true, we got a Republican legislature. We're not going to allow oh, that. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. If you think kids should have should be allowed to to get sexual with each other, then that's predatorial behavior. Buddy, I did it. Do you, do you think I did it think when I was a kid? Bad? First of all, it's a question of what you actually think the harms are. But do you think it's inherently bad when kids masturbate? Yes. Why? I think it's I think it's dirty. I think it's wrong. So it's just I'm not your preference. You don't have any real reason. It's just something you I wouldn't say to that see. that should that necessarily should be like we should be knocking down people's doors if they did. But again, that's a lot different than two kids having sex with each other and risking but, but, things like but, pregnancies but, and teen pregnancies. The definition of dirty is akin to some sort of spiritual evil. Like that's what's my the actual belief. harm. That's my but, personal but, belief. I I am. But what's the yeah. real harm? Like what what's going to happen to a kid who masturbates that Nothing. you are so worried about? Then, nothing and i'm not going to try to stop them but i'm saying that i believe it's wrong personally by what my religious beliefs are well, and that's i'll not say this much like, but when it comes to kids having sex with each other that's a very different situation that's not just people doing things to themselves by themselves that's them actually doing something with another person that's them that practicing to, to be adults part. that's them no that's and they them should not be, do, be they should not if kids can't kids can't gamble under a certain age kids can't drink under a certain age kids can't drive until they're a certain age kids should not they be can't able to do that alongside adults age. but guess what i want to give you a bit of a spoiler majority of kids who grew up even to this day drink and gamble and stuff and behind they shouldn't their fucking be. backs and they shouldn't be and that's a no problem. It's, it's, they shouldn't be doing that but according to you but you can't point to any real harm other than that maybe they're better functioning later on in life because they have a better grasp on these things and now, that's not I, a harm that's good and then they go ahead and just say it straight off the bat if you think kids should be allowed to have sex under the age of 18 then you're um, a groomer. I'm gonna no, say that. No, say that no, 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 no. You don't adult. get to decide that. That, that is not what grooming means. I have no idea what that word means. Like you're, you're literally. If if you can't use that word right, then please don't use it. Exactly. You know, you're you're live right now, and you're kind of incriminating yourself by saying that. No one is incriminating that. themselves. We can actually, actually articulate what we're saying without using the wrong words. Just because you call us groomers doesn't make it true, idiot. It, it is true. If you're if you're saying if you're saying that kids should be allowed to have sex underage, then that is with each other. Talk. With each other, that is predatorial talk. They should not be doing no, that. You should not be encouraging no, that. You have no understanding of what child exploitation actually looks like, and so you yes. apply it to anything that suits your moral judgments. Child exploitation is bad because it harms children, but you can't actually point to any harm here. And so your definition of child exploitation is moot. I live in an area where I've seen teen pregnancies happen in my school. Buddy, I'm, I'm from Appalachia. Is... There is there is a epidemic epidemic of teen pregnancy. Do you know what brings you that down? Do you know you what brings that thing? down? Proper sex education, and providing you know what, condoms to, you know to kids. Yeah, and, and, and so the cause of it. Of if you sell kids anything, they don't kind sell it to them. Way. Actually, they tend to hand well, good, them out. They, good, they shouldn't sell. Oh well, that, then that's a problem. Then those people should be arrested. You shouldn't be selling kids anything related to adult. You shouldn't anything. sell kids things to prevent the harm that you're trying to prevent. You should that's be a really you, interesting. You should be preventing them there. from having sex. Is what you should be. What doing. A, what no, about, what no, about, hold on, DM, some, DM, DM, Justin, DM. Please, Justin, I, I have deferred to you a couple times. Okay. If I could, please. What about taking the mature route? 
accepting that they have sex and making sure they're prepared so we can actually reduce the teen pregnancies no i'm absolutely not kids should not be having sex at all we should be uh we should be having more people try to put a stop to it try to encourage kids not to do that at the age they are and encourage them to wait until they're a certain age absolutely well, I, I, not I could easily just call it i could easily call what you're saying predatory because you're no, actually not. making kids ill-equipped to a avoid predators B, avoid pregnancy, and C, understand they anything to do with their sexuality growing up. They're 18. People are supposed to wait until they're of the age before they're allowed to do anything. They're supposed to I wait to do that out. legally, but as far as their hormones legally, go, that shit starts... Face. No, as far as hormones start, goes, that shit starts around the age of 10, give or take, depending on, gen, uh, on sex. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That has nothing to do with it. It doesn't matter. It does. No, it does, because then they have something called libido and sex drive. And that makes them want to act on it, much like it makes adults act on, want to act on it. And expecting that to wait till 18 is literally mindless. It, you're, you're setting yourself up for failure. You're setting them up for failure. And I would just like to point out, he, he was wrong. Come to my state. The age, of, uh, the age of consent in deluded. Wisconsin is 18, but over. kids can have sex with each other, and it, it is not against no, they the cannot. law. There's no Romeo and Juliet laws in my state, my friend. Romeo and Juliet law. You even know what that is? You're an idiot. No, I'm not. Look at Yes, up. you are. You have no Look idea what up. you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. I stand by what yeah, I'm, I'm talking I'm gonna, about. I'm going to give them some credit and look it up because I don't specifically know what that means. The age of I consent in Wisconsin is 18, but if two 17-year-olds have yep. sex, that is not illegal. Uh, it is illegal. Look it up. No, again. it's not. I did. You're an idiot. As okay, always. So no. Okay, so what what you don't understand about Romeo and Juliet laws is that it doesn't apply to two people who are both under 18. It protects people from statutory rape charges if one of them is over 18, which in terms of like morality, I don't think is that bad. But in terms of legality, I think it is a good line to set because at least we know that kids under that age won't be getting with adults. Oh, yeah, However, yeah, yeah. Because there, there is that law in Kentucky, and that's what, like, I had a girlfriend who was 16 when I was 19. That's one of the reasons. Yeah, so you have to look it up, by the way. That's, that's, how, that's how I figured out you're and wrong. you engage in sexual intercourse with a minor who is 17, it is considered statutory rape. I just read that on on the internet. No, you're wrong. Yeah, dude, oh my god, dude. My state is 18. You have no idea what you're talking But if two 17-year-olds have sex, that's not illegal. That's what you were saying. It is illegal. That should be illegal. It just said you don't want to enforce anything. your morality on people, but you want it to be. That's illegal. not. That's not. You can't have morality. it both. Kids yes, it is. Doing things that they're the not law to enforces be doing unless... morality. The law literally enforces. That's morality. It's not morality. That's for. That's that's allowing kids to do things they're not supposed to be doing you at just, their age. That they're not you're, supposed to be doing according to you and literally nobody according else. According to what they shouldn't be doing. That's harmful okay. to kids. No, you no, no. You no. have no understanding of how it's harmful at all. If if I you do, want I to find solutions. Do. No, you don't because you have no understanding of the role of sex ed in this. And you refuse to acknowledge it because you're scared I, of it. No, I do acknowledge it. I I took the classes in school. So, and so, that's so then you should concede to Justin's was. point that sex ed can prevent teenage pregnancies. It can prevent. I'm saying it can prevent it, but it doesn't mean we should be encouraging kids. No, all. Until they're 18. No, you can. You can do both. You can encourage. Oh, absence. you cannot. If you are encouraging yes, kids you can. to do stuff when they're not supposed to be, that should be illegal. No, A you can encourage. Ab go to no. jail for encouraging that. I genuinely believe that. So, so this isn't how the real world deals with anything anymore, because your model is defunct and does. And we found it. It doesn't work. We don't deal with drugs by saying. You know what? We're just going to tell you not to do drugs, and then make and then let you do all the wrong things. We do something called harm prevention, which is acknowledging that this is happening and doing what we can can to minimize the damage from it. You're seeing this as some form of enabling, and it's not. It's simply being mature about the about the reality of the fact you can that kids. You can teach the reality kids, about drugs, but do we encourage kids to do drugs? No, we do not. The same way. You're right. We, we don't, teach, and we don't we encourage teach. kids to have sex. There is no yeah, saying go out and have sex. There isn't. Well, look, they're saying, and they they're saying we can't stop you from having you sex. That. No, they're, they're saying that there is no natural law preventing kids from having sex. They're going well, to do it. And if you, they're going to, and that's not actually going to prevent them from having sex. And people who want to give them condoms simply don't want them to get pregnant or have STIs. So it's not predatory. It's preventative and harm reduction.
You can teach about safe anything, safe drugs, safe sex, doesn't matter. It doesn't make the morality uh, any less uh, any less right when it comes there, there to... There is nothing immoral about kids, kids having sex. There absolutely is. No, there, there is No, there's not. There absolutely is. Name, name one thing that... Buddy, is just because you couldn't get laid in high school doesn't mean the rest of us didn't. That's not... That's but there's not nothing wrong with not about. getting laid in high school either. No, I, I, I want you to I express what was. your actual fears are other than teenage pregnancy, because we've debunked that, and so you have, to have no, no hill to die on anymore. First of all, I, I, I'm going to give you many reasons. One, when you're under a certain age, your brain is not fully developed. That is a known fact. Your brain's the not fully developed have... yet. You know shut that, up. right? Justin, shut up. Well, shut I mean, up. I'm Sit there and be quiet serious. and let me talk. No, shut up. Sit down and let me talk. I got the wheel. That, that was a good singer, yeah. Justin. <laughs> What's well, true, too. What I'm saying is kids do not have a mentality as adults do. There's a reason we have ages before people can do certain things. There's a reason for that. Kids aren't supposed to be drinking alcohol under a certain age. Why? Because it can be dangerous and harmful. It's like giving a kid... DM, but this bomb. is a you product that the government Justin, regulates. Justin, Sex I'm is talking. not a product Justin, that the government regulates. Justin, this show? Justin, this, shut this, up. This, I'm talking this, and don't interrupt me. I, I, I am trying not to talk about every time you interrupt me. DM, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to try to moderate a bit. This is this is Justin's show, and he should be able to talk over you when he wants. But I we, I'm, I, I, I am trying not to dogpile you. So maybe just try to let him say what he's going to say, and then continue on with your points. If he's not going to let me speak, then what's the point of even being on? You you are getting to speak. Just let him have his input as well. Like your examples aren't analogous. I haven't even finished my examples because you interrupted me. Why don't you listen and not interrupt? Because you seem to like to talk more than you like to listen. More time you spend on this, the less time you can spend making your points. Get to it. Okay, so as I was saying, again, kids do not have the same mentality as adults. It takes time for kids' brains to develop. Kids are not as smart as adults. Kids don't Can you get to the points you haven't made, please? Because I don't want to hear these points again. I have to... You need to just let me speak. So, again, kids can't drink when they're underage. Why? Because it could hurt them. Alcohol can hurt can hurt people. Alcohol can be dangerous. Uh, that's why we have an age limit for when people drink alcohol. Gambling. It's not something that kids are allowed to do either. That is also illegal for kids to do for multiple reasons because kids don't know how to handle that kind of stuff. Same with drug use, smoking. Same with driving. We don't let kids of under a certain age drive a car, and there's reasons for that. The same applies to sex. We These are products. You are naming why do we separate products. Kids, why, do, why do we separate people by their gender when they go and, and they DM. On, on, on sleep outs or nights out? Why do we separate You are naming people? products so they don't fuck each other. Exactly, because we don't want people... We because want it's so it. natural. It is so innate in their brains that they're going to want to fuck each other. It's evolution, you dumb shit. That's why it's going to happen. And we try to prevent that from happening because they shouldn't be at their age. You know, end. we should but, try but to see, make sure when they do it, they do it safely. And your but, way has been proven to lead to more STDs, leads to exactly. more teen pregnancy. Because when you tell teens not to do something, they want to do it even more. And so here's the thing is like, I'm, I'm all for reminding kids that they can be abstinent. But when they don't, we can't just throw them under the bus and not and leave them unprepared and uneducated about these things. I'm not saying not to educate them. What I'm saying is we should... No, you were saying that education was grooming earlier. I said if you're encouraging kids to be able to tell them that, that they can have sex in their Well, that's a straw man if, telling them that no, they can that have nobody's sex. Nobody's saying that they should. In fact, there's well, very much... Shouldn't. Even my sex ed, which wasn't that progressive at the time, was very much saying that even if you don't have sex, that's okay. It's it's up to you when you want to have sex. It shouldn't be up to them. They should wait until they're an adult before they should. Before according they to according to what science? According to what science? Because you science talked about matter according to what's ethics. You talked about an undeveloped brain, but you have Whoa, no idea what you're actually Whoa, buddy! About. Your ethics are informed by some fucking mythological book. No, like, ethics it's is superstition. is. It's, is it's, a, it's a fear of the dark, right? Malleable thing. Like, like really, you need to not be afraid of of things just because you don't like them. Like, if you look at the if you look at the actual data, 
they, we, we truly prevent harm better by preparing them and educating them and not shaming them for wanting to have sex because that clearly leads to them having uh, issues with their self-identity. Uh, but rather making sure that A, they're doing it when they're comfortable, especially for like women because that's an important thing. And B, that we're teaching them consent because that is something that was lacking in my sex ed. I think I had one teacher and uh, I was like my head when, when he taught us sex ed wasn't like all there because I was in a strange place in my life. I'm, I don't want to get into it. So it, those kind of went over my head and it took, actually took me a while to understand consent. And God, I wish someone would have drilled that into me sooner because that would have saved a lot of mishaps that like I, I live with regret with today where I could have been more sensitive to the other person, what the other person wanted, right? And so all like this is all about making this thing less harmful. And I don't see why that's so awful to you. Because like, just because you like, you say that you don't want to enforce this on this stuff, but to say that something's inherently bad is kind of in, like saying that it should be different. And so there is like a blurred line between you saying like, this is my belief system and this is like, you know, what the world should be like. I mean, it should be common sense. It's been common sense for years. It's been common sense that kids are not supposed to be doing people sexual were like, things. It's been common sense for Yeah, because people were afraid of STIs and teenage pregnancies and had no idea, like, how to and make contraception. And, but no, we didn't have contraception or anything like that. Like, at best, we had sheepskin, sheepskin condoms, and those were in low supply, so nobody wanted to give them to the teenagers. You know, I'm starting to get why many people on the right call people like you uh, groomers. And Here we go again. Yes, understand. because they're idiots like you. It. You know, I question you can't it tell the difference between to actually understand it because you can't now tell I'm the difference between worldview and your reality. And every time you're presented with a reality, you have to fight against it by attacking the other person. Stop shooting the messenger. I'm going to send this stream to a right-wing group because I want them to hear this. I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. Buddy, I'm going to send it to right-wing groups. You I try to get you people fucking this? upset. Do you, is, this, is this a way to feel powerful right now, That what you just said? No, he thinks that, he thinks that we are like admitting no, to you, some Justin. crime or something on here. I mean, technically, you're not... No, you're not, not technically. You're an friend, idiot. What you're is creepy. No, I'm calling his bluff because one thing, I, I don't think he knows of any groups that would actually be this stu as stupid as he is. And secondly, I think what you're trying to do here is have leverage and try to put us on the defense. And I'm not going to be put on the defense on this because it's really stupid. Have you heard the freaking news? YouTube, Facebook, and all of big tech are trying to do a cancel culture on Justin Freakin. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. Help the channel stay alive and grow by subscribing or following, and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the fun, even when one platform tries to shut us up. He's kicking authority in the balls. If you have a despair and really want to show support, consider subbing on Twitch, becoming a patron, or a member on YouTube. You'll get access to extra delights and debauchery and you'll have my eternal appreciation. Thank you for being a freaking follower and have a great freaking day.